Kerbal Space Program! Hi guys and welcome back to another KSP video. Today I'm going to be making some kind of probe for uh, some cathane scanning again, but this time on the planet Kerbin itself, because I have a nifty idea about creating some kind of plane that is able to get some cathane back to base. So, the first thing that we have to do is get ourselves a cathane scanner. So I'm gonna go for the big one this time. So not just a normal one, but the big one, which is... Where is it? Where is it? Gotta find it. Gotta find it. Come on, don't give me this crap. Should be around here somewhere. Science! <laughs> there it is. The medium scanner. Now, this one requires a bit of power, but uh, nothing to worry about that. We can handle that without any problems. So, this is going to be it. This is the final stage, which I'm building right now. And it's going to be something like this. I think I'm going to go with this. So, I will be building this quick, and I'll keep you posted on what it's going to look like. So, be right back. So, here we go, guys. I got a finalized product. A very small probe, again, with uh, a few boosters here and there, so let's give it a go. So again, I'm thinking about going with a 45 degree angle to uh, get this in orbit. Although a 45 degree angle is supposed to be a little bit like this. Well, that's going very fast already. Oh, that's looking good. There we go. Next stage. Let's fire up the rest. Hmm, that's kind of weird. Seems like we have an imbalancing issue going on. Yeah, I think I know why. Because I had this, um... I, I got too many thrusters on one side. That's the reason. Okay, this is gonna suck. <laughs> Let's see if I can cope with it like this. Not really. I wonder if I get this into an orbit then. Oh, we're back inside the atmosphere right now, which is good. We got 109, let's just do a physical time warp and I'll see you on the other side. So we were lucky to skim across the atmosphere without any uh, issues, so I'm gonna go for the apoapsis right now to increase that periapsis to get some form of a stable orbit at least. So what I'm gonna do right now is point myself in the prograde again and right now and enable RCS and just press forward on the RCS. Let's see how well that works. There. At least we got some form of stable orbit. Monopropellant is almost out, but I think it's going to be okay. Yeah. There we go. That's the last of the monopropellants that we have. So 
Let's try this. Small amounts of thrust. 100. 106. Not the most terrific build I've uh, ever made. <laughs> yeah. But even with these unstable things, you can actually make something work. How about that? So we've got a 105, 106. I call that stable enough. So let's uh, get this thing going. Extend the panels. Get some communication up. Uh, let's toggle that. And toggle that. Toggle that one. What else do we got? Oh, yes. Satellite dishes. So we got ourselves a probe. How about that? Let's point this towards the surface. And scan for cathane. Bleep. So I'll be scanning for quite a bit until we find some cathane. And I'll let you know what patches we have found on the planet. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Yep, it looks like there's a patch right next to that riverbed there. Or those lakes, I have to say. So let's see where that actually is. It's quite across the mainland. And it's kind of equatorial as well, so that's good. So let's see, where's K Kerbal Space Center? Hmm. I kind of don't know where this is. It's in between the hills. Yeah, I think uh, I can figure out where that is. It's quite a big one as well. Well guys, it looks like we found another patch right in between the hills, so I'm not really gonna bother with that. There's no place that my uh, aircraft is going to be able to land there. So, yep, yeah. going for the next one. Look at that, guys. Right across the desert, there's a little Cathane's pack right there. Uh, it's not really little, though. <laughs> um, I think that's Kerbal Space Center right there, isn't it? It might be. Hold on. Is it? You think? I think it is. Oh. So, if I were to go from this side into that side, that might be quite near, actually. I think I'm going for that one. So I'm gonna build myself an aircraft and find out what I can find there. And I'll be right back. So here it is, guys. We got ourselves a Cathane plane. I am gonna attach a scanner, though. I do wanna have an extra scanner. Uh, the center of mass is right there. So let's see. I want something structural, like this radial attachment port right in the center of mass could sit right there and then get the cathane scanner right on top bloop there that looks cool <laughs> I like it so uh, let's go with this let's launch it and let's find out where we actually need to go because I am not really Oh, that is really, really near. Yeah, it is. Okay, let's find out where it is. We can even go with a truck, I guess. So let's stage this. And head over to the place where we need to be. Bleep. And some of you that have watched my earlier videos might even recognize this plane. This is my Delta Strata. I still have it. <laughs> I had to modify a couple of parts, so 
I didn't actually just build this, although I might act like I did. But uh, it's a scam. <laughs> it's really an old plane that I have for quite a long time right now. And I'm still using it because it's one of the more stable planes I've built. And I still really love it. And it uses the Scappy Mini Pack to its fullest. You can see the drop tanks are uh, quite neatly attached underneath its wing. And um, basically I modified the Delta Strata stock to get some cathane aboard as well and some drilling done in the back and a couple of solar panels to provide for the drilling. It even has a converter, so how about that? The only downside of this plane is that it is not able to land with all these fuel tanks. So we might need to ditch a couple of those, but uh, before I do that, let's time warp a bit and let's go to the Cathane Grounds. Found it. All right, let's find a suitable landing location. And let's also get rid of the extra fuel tanks before we land. There we go. That's good. So, we found Cathane. And it's also quite a large deposit. So that is really, really good. Okay, SES off. Let's take a dive here. Gear out. Get some lights going on. We got all sorts of lights here. <laughs> uh, the electric charge is kind of bothering me, so I'm gonna deactivate this. It's not really necessary anymore. We found the cathane we need. So, let's make sure this landing is a proper landing. I'm a bit scared though because this vehicle is kind of hard to land with all the extra weight that we have right now. So that is a bit bothersome. Let's see. Instruments tell me that my radar altitude is still way up high. So we still have a long dive to go. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
Ah, uh, here it comes. A little bit nor north. Here we go. 2,000 still. So the ground is about 300 meters up. Let's hope the terrain isn't bumpy at all. It should be fine then. Just a little bit of thrust. Because if we fail this, we have to get out of here really, really quick. Here we go. Looks like a bit of an uneven land as well. Okay. Let's ease back on the pitch a bit. Here comes the light. Let's keep a steady 80 meters per second if we can. And let's ease her down up on this hill. Crossing down even more, flare, touchdown, brakes, and wobbliness on all sides. Okay, we have landed, so that is a good thing. Good, let's apply the brakes here, shut down the engine. Okay, let's give it a whirl, shall we? Ta-da! Well, that will surely charge up my electric charge here, look at that. <laughs> Amazing. So let's uh, start the detecting again. Yay, we're on the right spot. And let's deploy the drills. Did I bind this on 6 or 7 or s something? Nope, it's manual labor. Deploying the drill. Deploying the drill. We are getting caffeine. At least I hope so. It's still deploying. There we go. Yeah. So uh, the next half an hour, probably, I'll be mining for caffeine. And we still have... Oh, we're full on liquid fuel, so we don't have to pick up anything. Right, this is working. So I'll meet you in a bit when everything is filled up. So yeah guys, Jebediah is our drill sergeant for today. He has placed a flag right where it needs to be to get the exact pinpoint location where the uh, cathane is. So the next aircraft can land fairly easily right there to get some more goodies. Or perhaps I'll even go with the same one. <laughs> How about that? Anyways, uh, this episode is coming to an end. I'm going to build something in my base to provide a storage for all this precious caffeine and get myself some form of reusable energy source in the form of caffeine. So with that being said, stay tuned for the next one. It's going to be epic. I really like where this is going. So stay tuned for more and goodbye.